Hey guys, my name is Octoman and today I want to give you a brief overview of the new scene management uh, feature in Unity 5.3 uh, which includes uh, multi-scene editing and some scripting stuff of course too. Okay, let's go and check Unity's um, scene management or yeah, multi-scene editing. What does it mean if you have loaded any level or any scene like I have in here from a previous tutorial of myself? Uh, what I can do is I can load in that scene or basically not directly in that scene. Um, I can load um, any scene into this one basically and can edit this one and then get rid of this one anyways once again. I want to show you this one pretty quick by using my passes um, scene which I have done recently. And what I can do, as you can see, I drag this one into the hierarchy panel and, and now I have all possibilities um, or all um, game objects, cameras and lights in directly in the scene um, or visible in the scene of health bars. Um, as you can see, if it is dark um, black or, or bold black, then you can say this is the active scene we are currently in. And we can also go and set this one as an active scene. Also, we can save all scenes when we have did anything in here. We can also um, unload scenes. Don't save. Um, and now it's not loaded anymore. I can also say I want to load the scene once again. And I get all the information back into my health bars scene. So what can I do with all that stuff? Basically, let's say you want some game objects in the health bar scene like the pass holder 1 and 2 and maybe also the game object um, for, for that capsule. What I can do is I can just right click and copy this I'm gonna do that once again and paste that into the health bar scene. So if I would unload the scene once again or remove it I will have that only or also in the health bar scene. I can also copy stuff around from the health bar scene directly in the passes scene. I can also go back and load this once again and set this one as an active scene and I will get all the information from the health bar scene visible inside of that too. So this is what mainly you can do with that. You can also um, create new scenes in here. Um, I believe it's somehow over the menu. Select scene asset. Um, I don't know where it was. Um, but you can do a lot of stuff. Basically, it's cool because you can manipulate all scenes together or you can uh, make a new scene out of all that stuff inside of one screen, uh, or, or inside of the hierarchy, which are. And you can even, uh, load in more scenes, like maybe this one. So now I can fiddle around with three um, with three scenes at the same time. So I have the stuff I have done with my um, yeah with my swipe rotation, with my pass uh, with my pass stuff in here, and also with the health bars, and also all the informations, all scripts and stuff which have been on that game objects or anything else will persist all scripts will still go over and work. Okay, so now let's go and have a look into scripting or the scripting part. Um, what we have or what you will notice is if you're pressing F7, I'm gonna do this, you can build into MonoDevelop and since MonoDevelop is new too, you have some more highlight or some new highlights and so on. What this is going to t tell us is that application.load level is obsolete. That means we need to do it different. Basically it is still working, but we need to do it different and also to have more possibilities also script wise for multi-scene editing. We can just add or we have to add a new namespace and this namespace is called unity engine dot scene management with that done we can have the possibility to use the scene manager dot load scene which is uh, which mono develop currently is telling us to use so with the scene management uh, namespace we can say scene manager dot load level or load scene in this case and in here, in those brackets, we can, as we have done in the old ones uh, with application.load level, we can use the string name of the scene 
or an, inte uh, an integer of that scene. Basically, or often I use an integer more over a, um, a string, uh, but it depends a bit on what I'm going to do. So you can load in any scene in here once again with, in my case, it's going to be the variable scene to load. So, um, and of course, close this one right. So basically, this is needed, the namespace is needed, and also the scene manager dot load scene, which is the new one. Also in the scene manager, you can do any or a lot of other things. Um, as you may can, uh, yeah, may have noticed, you can load scenes directly as we have done already or will do. We can also get all scenes. We can act, get active scenes, which is for, um, uh, a get active scene is for um, if you have to reload the scene, then you need to get active scene and all the other things. You can uh, load scenes async. Um, you can merge scenes as we have done within that stuff in here. And all the other stuff you want to uh, want to do can be accessed over the scene manager um, script wise. Okay, that's basically everything I wanted to cover for this one. Um, and I hope you learned something new, basically, of Unity 5.3. There will be, or there are also, a lot of other cool features right now um, in Unity 5.3. You might want to check out. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to cover all the scene management stuff. And again, uh, if you don't know how to use the integer white uh, stuff right now, well, basically, if you are enabling or disabling scenes in here, so you will get those numbers. And those numbers will be the integers you will load um, in here. So that's everything. Uh, you can also use the uh, yeah the string names, as I have said before, um, and yeah load scenes however you want to. Okay, that's everything for now and for today, I believe. So, see you in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this pretty quick um, and small overview uh, about scene management. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me about that or anything else you want to. If you have requests and so on and so forth, feel free to uh, write me in the comments or use the private messages stuff on YouTube. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs this video up if it was helpful in any way for you. So, see you in the next tutorial or video. Bye bye.